Hey, Video Game Hour Live. I'm Steven Zarita here with Scott War of the game Lollipop Chainsaw. So, Scott, you produced this game. So, in a nutshell, can you tell us what is this game about? Yeah, it's about Juliet, and it's her 18th birthday. And basically, her and her boyfriend are trying to figure out why is there a zombie apocalypse? Why is it happening on my birthday? And how are we going to stop it? So, the protagonist is Juliet, and she's a cheerleader. I understand the physical aspects of the flips and everything that comes with being a cheerleader, that's incorporated into the combat system, correct? Absolutely. I mean, you're, half of it is all about your cheering attack, and that's going to make the zombies weaker, and it's all about decapitations. The more decapitations you do, the higher rewards you get, the better stuff that you can buy in the store. So we have, you know, outfits, upgrades, uh, a whole bunch of stuff for you to explore with. You want to decap everybody, and to do that, you start cheering attack, and then you use your chainsaw. That's where we really wanted the focus was your chainsaw. And where does the chainsaw come from? Off the top of my head, I think high school shop class, but there's got to be something cool behind the chainsaw there. For chainsaw, it was just Suda51. Like, I mean, he's he's known for being out there, and he wanted to create a girl that was centered around a chainsaw. So it was really important for chainsaw action. That's all he could say. Uh, that was actually the only words I could understand from him was chainsaw action, chainsaw action all the time when talking with him. And how was it like working with Suda51? Being a fan since Killer7, so Killer7, No More Heroes, Shadows of the Dam, you know, I, I absolutely loved all his games. Working with him was a dream, and when he came to us and was like, hey, I want to make the story bigger and better than I've ever done before, can you help me? It, it was beyond my wildest dreams. I was like, I hope so, and I went out and got James Gunn. And at first, I was a little worried about how the two were going to, you know, mesh and Suda's ideas kind of, you know, going and meshing with James Gunn's ideas. They worked like two pieces in a pot. I mean, it was just like constant one after another. They were writing. We actually wrote the entire story before we actually started working on the game, doing all the cinematics. So we actually got the story down first, then worked on the gameplay. It was crazy. When he came down, like I said, he only had like a little bit of the framework. And with him and James, it was video conference after video conference after video conference. And what can we expect from the game when it hits shelves? What kind of gameplay? Uh, gameplay is fast paced. You know, uh, you got your cheerleading attacks, your combos, your uh, chainsaw action. You're going to have, you know, blood, gore, uh, you know, rainbows, uh, hearts stars, everything that you can think of. It's honestly just a huge roller coaster with her and her boyfriend on this relationship roller coaster, kind of him being a decapitated head on her belt and uh, her, you know, going around and trying to figure out why the zombie apocalypse has happened. All right, Steven Zarita here and I'm with Juliet of the game Lollipop Chainsaw. Juliet, what happened with the zombie invasion? Well, all I know is I woke up on my 18th birthday and there were zombies everywhere at San Romero High. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sounds like that sucks. So I don't think things went really well for your boyfriend. He's dangling on your hip. Well, I had to do what I could for Nick. He got bit by a zombie, so I had to decapitate him with my magic chainsaw and put him on my, on my, what is that? Carabiner? Hip thing? <laughs> I don't, I don't hip know. Thing. Okay, so you said chainsaw. Zombies, that's a lot to take on. So you're using a chainsaw to take them out in this game? Yes, my magic chainsaw is actually passed down from my family because I'm actually from a family of zombie hunters, so. I should have known, it was just obvious. Oh, Could yeah. we see the chainsaw? Oh, you mean this bad boy? This guy right here. Alrighty, so taking down zombies, what's that like? That must be extremely exhausting, even with a chainsaw. It is insanely exhausting, but I have to admit I do enjoy it from time to time. Any tips you could give any of us if we encounter a zombie apocalypse? Yes, go straight for the head, don't go for the balls, and get it when you can. Solid advice. All right, Juliet, thank you. I think I'm a little well, a little better prepared now. Good. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Steven Zarita signing out.